Thousands of people took steps toward finding a cure for breast cancer during this morning's Susan G. Komen Race for a Cure in Temecula. KMIR6's Jessica Flores joins us in studio with more. Jessica. Among the many teams participating in the annual race was our very own KMIR6 team. We spoke to breast cancer survivors and supporters along the path and asked them what the race means to them. Runners hit the pavement and braved rainy skies, but on this day, nothing could dampen their spirits. Soaking wet and loved every second of it. Girl Scouts, cheerleaders, and families raising signs of courage showed breast cancer survivors they are not alone. Started with my mom and then now my sister, and thank God that she made it. And I'm here to support her and every, every person who has been a survivor who's going through the disease, and I'm here. I'll be here every year from now on. The trail of pink balloons, umbrellas, and signs went on and on as more than 10,000 people came out for the Inland Empire's Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure. Among the crowd, about 500 breast cancer survivors participated. 17 years, I'm still fighting it. So, you know, that's a hope that might, you know, someday I'll be free of this disease. It's a disease with no cure and the goal of the race to find one. The 5K raised more than half a million dollars to support breast cancer treatment and research. While we're doing research to find a cure, we're taking care of women and their families here while they're going through their journey of breast cancer. Everybody's been touched by cancer in some way. So to see all these people supporting it just makes the awareness and makes you feel better as a survivor that people care. Even under gloomy skies, the race went on and breast cancer survivors and supporters pushed through the finish line. The majority of the money raised will stay right here locally. 75% of the money will go to fund treatment in the Inland Empire, and the other 25% will go to fund research. Thalia, back to you.